there's got to be someone else that needs food. So we are here at the motel and we are dishing out food and it is kind of a tough uh, choice here. In the last episode, we chopped a person's leg off. Will you the hold axe. the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh, this old man is quite the, uh, the jerk. Uh, look at Vince. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Well, I think this guy needs some food. We'll talk to the old man first. <sighs> Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. I guess. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. <laughs> what a jerk. No food for you. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, yeah give us that thing for a bit. Ugh. God, do I have to, really? Oh, crud. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Oh, dude, relax. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Oh no. There, yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Whoa. Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <laughs> You're the one doing all the talking, dude. All right. Dude, I want to give you food, okay? So, let's see how hungry you really are. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. yeah. I just hope Kadja can save him. How am I supposed to get up there now? Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Whoa, I wasn't even talking to you. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. I'm gonna Here, get your food, buddy. Eat something. Wait, have I only got one left? Thanks, Lee. Uh, I'm going to save the last piece for someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. Yep. They're the ones that need it. Absolutely. So, now, can I go talk to Lily somehow? How do I get on top of the RV? Oh, wait, there we go. Hello. So one of you ladies is getting fed. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now, and it's working. For now. Uh, you do Keep not get food. Out. Fine. I'm going to give it to Carly over here. Hello. Have some food. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you went? Don't worry about me. I'm okay. I got this. I card. want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. But but 
I'm trying. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but. You don't owe me anything, Carly. I can't give it to you. Are you serious? Oh, man. Well, well I guess you're next. Here. Yeah. You take it. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. Take it. Please take it. This doesn't change anything. I'm not asking it to change anything. Just take it. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. No, well, it's pretty awful. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? <laughs> There's none left. Get it from you your daughter. People like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. Okay. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, Q, 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 Q. He was frickin' bitten, are you serious? Oh god, oh god. What am I supposed to do? That was stupid. Hit him, hit him! He was a frickin' zombie. Get him, get him, don't let him bite me! Damn it, that was stupid. Get back, get back. Go, go. Get the axe. Oh my god. Carly, my god, shoot him. You okay? He was bitten. Yeah. Shit. Thanks. Should have left him. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. I don't trust Why do you them. need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. 
Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Do you believe them? I don't know if I believe them. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got yes. your back if anything seems fishy. I like her. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Alright, let's go to the dairy. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Alright, well, so decisions, this decisions. Dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not There's everyone that thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. Aww. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor Inn's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? <laughs> you can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor Inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Oh boy. Uh, there. We work as a group. All of us looking out <laughs> for each other. That was a tough I hear choice. that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? This guy's awful questiony. Let's change the subject. I don't like the way well, this is going. Well, the kid here's our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Something's wrong. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew ass we were hungry. Ass. And you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot more. Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh my god. Fuck one last look to feed. Jesus! Asshole. World out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy. Okay, that was a little startling, but real. I get it. Survival of the fittest. Whew. Well, on that note, watch out for the bandits. I'm sure they're gonna play a huge role at some point. Oh yay, we're back on Herschel's farm. Oh no, this is a different farm. I wonder if we ever get to go back to her farm. St. John Family Dairy. St. John's. St. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Let's the fence. fence. Keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. 
I'm going to assume that's a lot. Mm. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Something's not right with these three. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about mm, this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Are these creepy? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See no, you in a while. Carly, don't go. Why must you go? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. Too good to be true. That fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? I don't know. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Exactly. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. St. John. Dairy Farm. Well, folks, I am feeling highly, highly suspicious of this place. And you know where my mind is going right now? Is cannibalism for some strange reason. <laughs> Kids talk to Mark over here. Hi, Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Oh, I haven't I'll found it anything yet. Alright, keep me posted. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, what's this? Pointy. Pointy? Okay, let's go talk to dude over here. Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi. 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 Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Mm. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Really? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Yeah, where well, is Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Or they became dinner. 
An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop. Oh, Jesus. That's awesome. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know.